Huntsville Hospital continues to report COVID-19 patient levels in the teens, a trend line that has held steady for the last six weeks. And that comes even as the CDC is reporting the map of the northeastern United States is marked by counties with medium and high levels of COVID-19. News 19 Chief Investigative Reporter Brian Lawson joins us now in the studio with more. So Brian, what are public health officials saying about where things stand at this point? Right, so I spoke to Dr. West Stubblefield today of the Alabama Department of Public Health. He said having an effective vaccine is making a difference, but because COVID is likely to be around for a long time, he said the focus needs to stay on avoiding serious illness. But as you can imagine, the response is still pretty guarded, and he's urging individuals to manage their own risks. Now, this is a map from the CDC that you just referred to. It measures community levels of COVID-19 across the country. Red means a high level, yellow is medium, green is low. As you can see, cases remain low in the southeastern part of the country. Dr. Stubblefield said it's not at all clear if the south will face the case growth rates that you can see here in the northeast. We're around 100 cases per day statewide back in um, early April. We're right now just over 300 cases per day. Um, compare that to 15,000 cases per day in January. So, um, so, you know, a slight increase in the number. If you look at the community levels on the CDC webpage, you will see that Alabama is still in low risk. Downsides are is that we've had late summer peaks the last two years. Number two, the, uh, the peak of Omicron was back in January. Now we're uh, four months out from that. So that infection induced immunity may be waning. We know that the variants um, are constantly changing. So as we move forward in this pandemic, I don't think that we need to focus on herd immunity. We, need, we don't really need to focus on um, those measures that we, we may have talked about in the beginning. What we need to focus on is that, is that there, our loved ones are, could be at risk. We could be at risk. You need to know your risk, and then you need to make decisions based on your risk and the people that you're around. Now, looking at available COVID-19 resources, to get up to eight free rapid COVID-19 tests, visit covid.gov tests. If you need to find a vaccine provider, visit vaccines.gov. And the state of Alabama has seen 1.3 million COVID cases and 19,633 deaths. Now, Alabama's population is just over 50% vaccinated, Dr. Stubblefield said today, and vaccination remains the best way to protect yourself from the virus. 